there. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to use webhook notifications with SFTP to go. Webhooks can be used to programmatically notify your app when certain events happen in order to trigger processes. In SFTP to go, a popular webhooks use case involves processing a file as soon as it lands in your SFTP to go storage. To demonstrate the power of webhooks, we'll be using Webhook Site, a free online tool that allows for easy inspection and testing of incoming HTTP requests. When starting out with Webhook Site, we are assigned a unique URL to use for our tests. Click here to copy it to the clipboard and we'll soon be pasting it to SFTP2Go. Go back to your SFTP2Go dashboard and click Webhooks in the top menu. Next, click Add Webhook and a dialog will pop up. We'll name our webhook and paste the URL we copied from Webhook site in the endpoint URL. The purpose of the authorization header shown here is to allow us the option to add a custom header to be included within all webhook notifications. It is optional. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just type in demo. Finally, we'll select all the topics we want to be informed about. We'll choose to be notified whenever files or directories are created or deleted. Click Add Webhook to create this webhook. When the webhook is created, a unique signing secret is assigned to it. It is used to sign the payload to ensure that the receiving party can verify that the received message is authentic. We'll skip this step for now, but check out our documentation to learn more about webhook signing and verification. Now that we've created our webhook, it's time to test it out. The simplest way to test it is to click Actions and then Ping Webhook. This will send a dummy webhook notification. We'll go back to webhook.site and see that we have just received our very first webhook notification. We can see the authorization header and can also utilize the signature header to check the message authenticity. The payload body is a JSON object. The event topic shows up as webhook ping, which is the event we triggered. The created at field contains the epoch time of when the webhook was triggered. The organization ID identifies the SFTP to go add-on instance. Now, let's see what the event looks like when we upload a file. To upload a file, we'll simply drag and drop a file onto our SFTP to go server. Next, once we go back to the webhook site, we'll see the new event. The data key in the event payload contains the path to the new file and the file size. This will allow you to write code to fetch and process the file as soon as it is uploaded. One last bit of advice. You can view the webhook delivery history by clicking Actions and then View Deliveries. This lists the recent webhook deliveries, including the payload itself. If a webhook delivery happens to fail, you may manually resend it. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our other tutorials to see what other cool things you can get done with SFTP to go.